Hi everyone, welcome back, day number 19. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes as in the last intro video, but it is the same day I'm making this intro video. I'm honest, I'll tell you. So today we're gonna talk about patterns, and I, there's a lot of different ways you can create a pattern, a lot of different ways you can use a pattern, but I realized that I wanted to um, make a piece for this very large mold that I have, and I wanted to create a pattern for it with, with two sides, um, but I needed it to be the diameter of the bowl. So I went ahead and did in my brain how the best way that I could figure out how to create the pattern. There's probably a whole lot of other ways to do it and I don't even know it's, if it's how other ceramic people come up with that. Uh, geom uh, geometry, uh, geometrically speaking, uh, that was not my best subject and I'm a little bit lacking there. Uh, packing a freezer, putting the cylindrical ice cream containers in the, in the rectangular freezer. Yeah, I, found, I find challenges with that. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I did what I thought would be best. If you guys have better ideas and suggestions, feel free to post them below. I have no problem somebody telling me what to do if it's the right way. Um, constructive criticism is always welcome, but if it's just criticism to be criticism, I don't do that so well. But uh, constructive is always, always, always welcome. Uh, today is the scary bowl, the fragile bowl. I'm looking at it right now. It scared me just taking it off the shelf. I'm not used to hand building and I'm really not used to scoring. So I had patterns, uh, attaching the ends, you know, scoring and making sure everything's well attached and um, patterns, hand building and scoring. Yeah, I have three challenges and then size. I'm not used to working with something this big either. So this piece to me, I guess there's always one in a bunch, but this one scares me. I want the 100% success, but I, I went out on a limb on this one because I just wanted to do it. So we will just, and everything makes it, please make it, please make it. Uh, but hope you enjoy today and I'll share with you what clips I have for making the pattern bowl. Okay, I need to know the diameter of this bowl. So if I had a compass that had a, a pen on it or or whatnot, I, I could use this and just take it down, but I don't think it's exact enough for me. I'm not even sure if I'm doing this the right way, but I think this concept will work. Okay, so I put colored dots on the ends, folded it in half, connected these dots on each side to make sure they matched, which they do. This is the first dot. Then what I did is I took it in the center and I put this point right in the center. Okay, and then I measured down. I'm gonna do this again because I already knew I, I took it out too far. So I do wanna take it out a little farther because I wanna have extra clay draping over. Okay, so I'm, my goal is to connect from dot, I can cut it from dot to dot to dot. No, I didn't have the right angle. Better, 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 better. Okay, I am gonna use this tabsy here to make the two pieces I need for putting on the
the center of this is very weak compared to the outer edges to be able to support it. So until it's leather hard, and when I turn it over, I need some support here. So I stuck a baggie. You'll have to forgive me, I couldn't concentrate with the camera on for some reason, so I turned it off. But this is, I don't know if you can see the carving, you'll be able to see it once I glaze it more clearly. I just did some random carving and I didn't want it, I wanted it to be imperfect and I realized I started out perfectly here, or kind of exact, and I didn't want that. So this side I'm more happy with than this side, but they actually go together, so I'm not, I'm not concerned. Uh, anyway, that is it for this. Okay, here it is. I don't want to break it just because I want to show it to you in a video, but okay. Here it is. Yay! It's all together, bone dry. I did some carving on it, and I really wanted it to be like a rough carving. I didn't want anything perfect about it at all. So, um, actually, you know my favorite part? I have a favorite part. I always pick a favorite part, um, and it's these little bead things on the end. I think they're so cute. I don't know why. I always love that. Even when I see it on, on your work, I'm, I'm saying to everyone that does pottery out there, if you do this kind of thing on your on your pieces, I just go crazy. I love that. That and a deep foot on a bowl, but everybody knows that. I love deep feet on, on cup bowls, whatever. Deep foot. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today, and we will see you tomorrow for... Ah. Oh, no. I need to do some bisque firing. See you tomorrow.